Good afternoon everybody, Russell here from Mojo Hooker Flinders Park coming to you from 16 Lombard Street in the beautiful North Adelaide. What a great little suburb. You normally find a lot of little old houses around here but I'm about to show you a large family home. Um, so feel free to come through and we'll start looking around. To get started, O'Connell Street is just over there so you do have access to all the uh, local shops. Uh, restaurants, everything that makes North Adelaide so good. But when you're not enjoying it, you are in the back streets here. You can lock yourself away behind a giant wall here and in your carport and enjoy the privacy at the same time. So as we walk through, we do have the courtyard area, which is quite private. Uh, it is built up most of the way around so you can entertain out here, which is great with access inside to, to the living area. So you drive in you get out of your car here you do have this little entrance area with the two doors or you do have the main door just around the corner here or you do have the gate now this gate does lock and can be unlocked from the inside so we'll keep going around and that will lead us to another part of the house we'll look through in a second uh, but as you notice here, we do have an instant um, hot water system here, instant gas. So that should supply all three bathrooms there, which is pretty good. Once again, we got North Adelaide here. Beautiful. So close to the city. So we'll head on inside now, through the front door. Now one of the farm smoke alarms is chirping here at the moment, so we will um, address that in due course. So as we walk inside, we'll start off here. This is one of the bedrooms, the only downstairs bedroom. You do have windows, these aren't doors, they are sliding up windows, which is a good size, pretty good size room down here. And I'll just shut this behind me while that smoke alarm's making that noise. So also downstairs, we do have the downstairs powder room, toilet, basin, and mirror. People to freshen up while you're entertaining. It's actually quite a big room, this one. Now, there is some stuff that does need to be done here and you'll see that laying around as we go around. So just keep that in mind. Uh, here we do have the downstairs bathroom slash laundry. So this room here does have the door to the outside, does have the shower in it as well. So this house is really actually good for multi-generational living or a shared property if you want to move in with friends or you know you want to move in with family, um, bigger groups. It definitely has a space for it and it has the facilities for it too. So uh, don't be shy, put that application in. We're quite open-minded with this one. Here is that intercom. The monitor seems to go, but that gate does definitely buzz. And the one upstairs does the same as well. So. Here we have this beautiful kitchen, five burner gas uh, stove top and a gas oven there as well. Don't see gas ovens a lot these days, so that's quite interesting. And plenty of bench space. I mean, this is about, what, 10 times the size of my kitchen? And I'm not even kidding. But it also has heaps of windows here as well. So um, I don't think there's a point of the day here other than obviously sunset where this place isn't teeming with natural light. It's just beautiful. Plenty of space here, cook up a storm with the family. We do have the pantry here as well. Not a massive space, but big enough. You use it as storage if you wanted to. And that opens up into this open living room. I cannot put it into words to like how big this room actually is. Um, it's just huge. So that's that little area that leads out around to the front of the house and the laundry. Doors there. Massive family room with doors here and just here and here so you can open them up to entertain. Now just keep in mind, being an older home, there is no fly screens on this house. Just keep that in mind. But wow, look at this and look how high the ceilings are. It's almost like an event walking into this house. So you do have all the vents up here as well. That's for ducted heating and cooling. And you've got the fans too there to help circulate air. So now we're done downstairs. I know it looks like a big house from the outside, but it's actually not too bad inside. It's quite cozy. We'll head up the stairs and I just want to point these out. These are almost like 
stone cupboard. They are stone. I'll go as far as say they are stone cupboard. Or a tile of some sort. It makes them incredibly solid. So when you walk up them, you don't get that awkward creaking. You get that luxury vibe of solid stairs. If you have seen new houses lately, you know what I'm talking about. All right. Now we're up here. We've got the control panel for your um, heating cooling. Beautiful window here. And you've got the view up here to down there. So while we're up here, we'll start off in this room. This is one of the master bedrooms upstairs. There are two masters. Once again, plenty of light here. I mean, I love how you've got this old brick, greenery, blue sky. It's Adelaide in a nutshell, isn't it? So I digress. We've got this big, beautiful master bedroom here. We've got the built-in robes here. Lots of hanging space, lots of storage space. And we have the private bathroom here, doorknobs being tended to. So mirror's a little low, but not unworkable. We've got the shower here, toilet, more windows, never ending windows. It's actually quite a big bathroom, this one too. So it works, it works. Let's keep looking around. Back here, we go across this little bridge to the second master bedroom. Now this master bedroom does have the double doors out to the balcony. It does have a big window here as well. Beautiful, always a lot going on around here. We also got the intercom system up here as well. So this one works a little better. So you can uh, see, sort of, that the front, who's at the door, and you can unlock the gate from here as well. Do you have the walk-in wardrobe here? It's a little snug, but if you're anything like me, you won't use that point. You'll just get this one little drawer. I say that in every video, I bet you're sick of it by now. And we have the second ensuite here, massive shower, big vanity, bigger mirror that's the right size, and the toilet just behind the door there. And that's it for this one. So if you want to live in North Adelaide, you want a big house, you want the convenience of all the eateries around and that close uh, proximity to the CBD for work or just to play, uh, I think this is the right one for you. If you're a multi-generation family or friends looking to share a property, I think this one will be suitable for you as well. So definitely put that application in with confidence. Any questions, reach out to the office. We'll be happy to walk you through it. Thanks for coming through today.